right now we've got a little bit of snow dusting the state. Yeah, that's right, Hannah. Uh, not not the best night for travel, but you know, mm -hmm. I was scrolling through the near me submissions earlier tonight, and I noticed that it's kind of like a tour around the state without ever leaving your chair. It's really neat, and that first pup looked a little bit like Winnie. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Super cute. Thanks everybody who sent in those pictures. We're going to talk about the snow in a second. First, I want to show one more near me submission. Maine's favorite weather phenomena is back. An ice disc uh, was spotted today. Smalls Falls in Franklin County, just south of Rangeley. Scott sent this picture and a few others in. So if you do go to the near me section of our app and look at user submissions, you can actually see those pictures. Now let's get back into the forecast for tonight. Current temperatures in the 20s as expected. Still a few spots at 30 degrees from Augusta to Brunswick all the way to Arundel and Agunquit at 30 even right now. North and west is where we see more 20s along the mid coast. Temperatures currently close to 40 degrees. 38 in Rockland right now, 36 in Belfast up to Penobscot Bay. We're looking at 35 in Bangor, 27 in Jackman right now with 20s in the county. And I think this warmer air that we see here is going to allow for more mixing and rain uh, down east and especially through coastal sections of Washington County. That's where we still see some rain here on the radar. Otherwise, looking at widespread snow showers. None of this is particularly heavy, although there is one band that I've been watching here uh, where snowfall rates are a little more intense. We've got some heavier snow falling from Augusta through the Belgrade Lakes region to Skowhegan and north uh, all the way up to Jackman. We will start to see some of those heavier flakes mix in, and that's all the way back down the Route 2 corridor to Farmington and Bethel. So that's where the heaviest snow looks to be for us right now. That will keep moving off to the north and east overnight. Not a ton of moisture with this, so this isn't like a, a strong snowstorm or anything like that. Overall forecast snow totals are mostly going to be between one to two inches for a lot of us. I have that from interior York County all the way to Aroostook County with mostly rain down east and some mixing on either side uh, with a little bit less moisture in the mountains to not really get us to that one inch range. You can actually see the models picking up on that drier air moving in. By 11 o'clock, most of the snow shower activity has wrapped up. Bangor still dealing with a mix by 11, and then cooler air settles in overnight, expecting mostly cloudy skies through the day tomorrow as a storm stays south. Looking ahead beyond that, breezier on Tuesday. We're looking great for Wednesday. A lot of sunshine, temperatures mid to upper 30s, maybe even 40 degrees. And then things change for Thursday. That storm approaches. It's going to be warm on Thursday, thinking mid 40s. But that, of course, comes with a price. Expecting things to be pretty active overnight and into Christmas Day. Still looking at the potential for heavy rain, maybe some flooding given the snowpack and strong wind gusts. Beyond that, though, things will quiet down for the weekend. Seas tomorrow, 2 to 4 feet, southwest wind 5 to 10 knots. And there it is. We will be breezy with some mountain flakes on Tuesday. Storm approaches Thursday, warm, windy, and rainy for Friday. And then we're colder and blustery for Saturday and into Sunday. And Hannah, this is not exactly a, a, a good forecast. It's not a forecast that I, I like to give just because, you know, we could be talking about potential power outages by the end of the week. We could be talking about high water, things like that. So a lot on our plate as we get close to the holiday. Yikes. Yeah, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. Thank you, Mike.